Hey guys, it's Andrew here with another quick replay. This time it's going to be of the Dragon Mirror. Alright, so I'm going first. So I want to try to look for two drops. I want to try to look for Oracle. I get Grimnir in the in the opener. I decided to go ahead and keep the Grimnir. Um, I kind of pushed out a little bit. Didn't want to draw like multiple nine drops and just you know be sad. So I do get the Lyrial though, which is really nice because it means that I can try to apply pressure. Maybe try to prevent him from ramping. Here ramps anyway, uh, and that's kind of scary for me because if I don't draw a Salamander, but I draw the Salamander, um, it will have been really, really terrifying because if he played Rahab, I had no answer. And next turn, it doesn't matter what he plays because I have the Salamander in my hand. I'm just gonna play as aggressively as possible to try to prevent to try to prevent him from uh for, from ramping for free. I go ahead and use my Oracle here because he's already ramping for one. And in the Dragon Mirror, it's really important, in my opinion, to, to stay on parity uh, in, in mana or, or, if possible, even ahead, if, if able. Alright, he goes for Hob and, uh, and he goes over Grimnir, which is fine. Next turn, I, ha I have Sybil to get another point of, of, uh, to get another point of ramp. And also to and also to put him in a very very awkward situation in which he can't clear Sybil uh, without being revenge killed by Lyriel. So it's really nice for me because it because it, uh, it means that he'll be on a yeah that he'll have one Eva left and he'll most likely have to use it on, on my next turn. All right, so he goes Oracle here and then just tries to go for game of fervor. Um, he telegraphs, okay, I have Bahamut's in my hand, don't play anything, do not pass go, do not collect $200. So, of course, I, I just hit him in the face a little bit. He drops the Bahamut, which is really, which is really terrifying, because, uh, with the way he casually did that, he kind of, he kind of just screamed, okay, I, I, I have multiple Bahamut's in my hand. Um... So I go ahead and and go Saha Baha Evo the Baha so, so my so my Baha won't die and I'll and I'll just show you back to my hand, uh, preventing him from uh from making any 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 uh any plays next turn. Right, he plays Satan here. I got a little bit tilted by the Satan because he's like the third dragon craft mirror in a row in which the in which the opposing player had Satan. And I I don't really think Satan's really good right now, so. Alright, so he plays the Satan. The Satan lives at 4 HP, which is really annoying because uh it, it means it means that, that now I have to commit uh that I have to actually commit my first Baja. Well, really my second one, but 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 yeah, but for all intents and purposes it's my first one. He scythers, he scythers into my Baja, which is kind of annoying. Uh, he also plays a second Fervor here, which is terrifying because, like, he is so many cards ahead of me right now. I get a double Rahab here because I do run Genesis, and uh, if he can't heal, clear, or ward, uh, the next one he's just dead. Well, if I top deck it anyway. All right, he, he, he throws on his second Bahamut here. Probably be probably be, because he didn't he didn't expect me to have my second one, so I I gotta drop my second one here. He still has an evil point left, so he can clear it with Satan. Or sorry, not Satan, with, with Servant of Darkness. He does go ahead and do that. And then he also throws down a Grimnard uh to try to protect his Satan. But I have a raft shake in my hand, and the raft shake's just gonna uh, blow that out. Yeah, blow that out of the water. All right, so he's he's like, yeah, he's six cards into Satan deck. He's still kind of 
yeah, he's still kind of afraid of Genesis Dragon here. So, so you guys said and clears Draft Drake. But that gives me space to play Israfil. And the only way that he can clear Israfil right now is if he is if he uh, either has a second Scyther, which I don't think he does, or or if he goes uh, or if he trades Rider into it, which again gives gives me initiative. Um, but right now he just he, he just tries to go for game. Um, he has three cards left in his deck, so if he tops yeah, if he top decks um, a second disc, I'm dead. Or or if he just has in hand. It has to be exactly this or, or I die. Or, or, or burst kills me too. But he doesn't have it, so he loses. Well, uh, yet another, yet another enjoyable game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.